Hello friends, today we are going to read Off to See Spiders. The author is Veena Kapoor, the illustrator is Pia Meenakshi and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Off to See Spiders. So in this picture, what can you see? You see these two children and it looks like they're going to go see spiders with this girl, she's slightly older. And let's see what spiders they see. We are off to see spiders, some large as a plate, some small as a pin. We shall see so many spiders, our heads will spin, spin, spin. Is that an ant or a spider? Asks Kaveri. It looks like an ant, but it has eight legs. Oof, ants are insects. All insects have six legs, not eight. But you are right. This does look like an ant, says Shiri. Full marks, says Shama. It is an ant mimic spider. Kaveri and Shivi love being with Shama. She is studying to be a wildlife biologist and is full of fun facts and stories about different animals and plants. So Kaveri and Shivi are the two children and they have seen something that looks like an ant but it has eight legs so what is the difference uh, is this an ant or a spider and shama says it is called an ant mimic spider mimic means to imitate something to try to look like something so this is an ant mimic spider it looks like Shama is studying to be a wildlife biologist. That is somebody who studies about different animals and plants. Just then, Kaveri spots a sack spider. It's neatly rolled up inside a leaf. How did you find it? asks Shivi. Ah, when you get to know the different signs that spiders make, you start finding them everywhere, Shama says with a wink. So what spider do they see next? It is a sack spider. Can you see it here? It's rolled up inside a leaf and here is another one right here and it hides inside leaves we are off to see spiders some fat some thin some hairy they have eight legs and eight eyes but don't worry they are not scary Um, that looks like a crab, says Shivi, squinting at a yellow flower. Ha, huh, Shama says, it's the crab spider. And look, it has caught a poor bee that was visiting the flower for nectar. Ah, no wonder the bee didn't see the spider. It's almost the same color as the flower, says Kaveri. So here, Shivi is looking very closely at the yellow flower. She, he is squinting, looking very closely, and he is trying to find the spider. And 
it looks like a crab and the color is exactly the same as the flower so it lets the spider hide in the flower so that other insects that come to the flower for nectar they can be caught look look yells shivi pointing towards the leaves on the damp ground a female wolf spider is carrying her egg sac and there is another one who there are hundreds of tiny baby spiders on her back shama whispers in awe so here in this picture are the wolf spiders they carry their little ones on their backs and here in this picture can you see these are the little baby spiders there are so many of them we are off to see spiders oh where oh where oh where on grass on leaves on flowers here there and everywhere shivi is leaning on a tree trunk when suddenly he jumps in fright something scuttled by at lightning speed there you are shama says moving closer see how well the two tailed spider blends with the tree bark can you spot the two tailed spider in the picture look on the tree here it is and see it looks so much like part of the tree it just blends here's a spider that looks like it has only four legs kaveri says excitedly pointing towards a bush the spider has spun a wheel shaped web between two plants what a beautiful zigzag pattern this has to be the cross spider shama exclaims so here is the cross spider it looks like it has only four legs can you see them they are black in color in this picture and look at the web it has made which is wheel shaped with a zigzag pattern a criss cross pattern we are off to see spiders so far we've had quite a catch hey someone spinning lovely webs on this grassy patch kaveri shivi and shama stumble upon a sheet and tunnel web spider so many webs kaveri exclaims they look like delicate sheets this juicy grasshopper stuck in the web will become spider food soon slurp says shivi so here you can see the web of a sheet and tunnel web spider you can see this it's like a tunnel and this is like a sheet and the grasshopper that hops in can get stuck in the web and it becomes food for the spider right it's time to go home now says shama looking at her watch i have to study for my class tomorrow kaveri and shivi's faces fall oh don't worry there's plenty to see at home as well says shama so it's time for shama to go home and study 
and kaveri and shivi are sad they are sulky their faces fall but shama tells them there are so many spiders at home also back home shama spies the common house spider oh there's the daddy long legs spider they are funny says kaveri they dangle upside down and have long long legs so it sounds like there is a daddy long legs spider at home that hangs dangles hangs upside down and they have long legs and here is a picture of this spider we saw so many wondrous spiders on grass trees and flower heads let's crawl and look for more of them will we find some under our beds i hope you enjoyed this story now let's read a little more about the different types of spiders that the three of them saw in this story spider guy meet the spiders that kaveri shivi and shama see on their walk two tailed spiders these spiders get their name because of their long spinning organs that look like a tail with a flat body these spiders blend in very well on tree trunks and walls and mimic spiders they behave just like ants and look like them too these spiders in disguise trick animals and birds that like to eat spiders in this picture you can see the two tailed spider and the ant mimic spider crab spiders with a much longer and stronger pair of front legs these spiders often extend their legs while waiting to catch their food this pose makes them look very much like a crab wolf spiders you will often find wolf spiders scuttling on the ground especially where there are leaves and shrubs a female wolf spider carries egg sacs attached to her spinning organs when the sac opens hundreds of baby spiders climb onto her back and stay there for several days and here you can see the crab spider and the wolf spider the crab spider has longer front legs and so they extend them and wait for other insects to come near and so they can catch them um, and that makes them look like a crab and here is the wolf spider with an egg sac that is attached to her body and when the sac opens when the babies are ready to come out all the baby spiders climb on to her back and stay there for several days while they grow up sac spiders these spiders rest inside silken sacs that they make within rolled leaves and blades of grass they come out of their silken retreats when they have to hunt for food 
sheet and tunnel web spiders. These spiders make beautiful and delicate sheet-like webs. A tunnel at the end of the sheet web is the perfect hiding place for them. They dart out when an insect gets caught in the web. So here you can see the sack spider that weaves a silken sack inside a rolled up leaf and they come out of that sack when they are hungry. And here you can see the web of a sheet and tunnel spider. So here you can see the tunnel part of the web. The tunnel is where the spider is hiding and the web, the rest of the web, which is like a sheet that is sticky. And so if there are any insects that get caught in that sheet part of the web, then the sheet and tunnel web spider comes out of the tunnel and catches the insect. Daddy long legs spiders. These common house spiders are found on the ceiling and in the corners of houses and sheds. Their cobwebs may look untidy, but they catch a lot of flying insect pests. Cross spiders. When cross spiders are on their wheel-shaped webs, they look like a large X. They are also called signature spiders because of the zigzag pattern they make on their webs. So here you can see the daddy long legs spider, which is commonly seen at home. They have long legs and they hang upside down from the ceiling. And here is the cross spider. It looks like a cross with four legs. They look like a large X. And the web pattern they make is special. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are two-tailed spider and on top an ant mimic spider below, crab spider, wolf spider, sack spider, sheet and tunnel web spider, daddy long legs spider, cross spider. Try these questions. Which is your favorite spider from this story and why? Have you seen spiders around you? Write about them. If possible, take photos and share.